Thank you so much, uh, Cedric, for taking the time out. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Here's the first question. Most important question. What, did, what acting advice did you give LeBron? Because you're the pro. <laughs> He's the basketball player. You're the pro. What, what acting advice did you give him? Uh, man, just a lot of them, a lot of it just telling him, you know, just be yourself. Uh, you know, the chemistry we had was, was so, it, we had great chemistry, uh, you know, and the type of his personality, he made it really easy for, you know, for me to be around and, you know, for, for everyone to feel very comfortable. So, you know, him already having kids, he, you know, it, it was easy for him to just play his soul. You know, the Looney Tunes, that's kind of from uh, my generation, <laughs> Bugs, Buddy, Donna, you know, Daffy Duck, all of those. Were you aware, you know, of that? Like, have you ever watched those type of cartoons or did you like say, hey, this is kind of, I had to go back and watch some of the classics. Yeah, yeah. So, so watching, so I, I'm a fan of the original Space Jam. So okay. watching that really introduced me to, you know, the Looney Tunes. Um, and then getting the role for Space Jam, I did go back and watch, you know, like Looney Tunes uh, episodes and stuff, you know, just like that. I was more a Tom and Jerry type of guy, but, uh, you know, the, the Looney Tunes were, you know, they were just as hilarious and, you know, getting to be in the film with them and, you know, the greatest basketball player of this generation, you know, was, it, it was a blessing. You talk about chemistry. You know, mm -hmm. when I watched the movie, I like the chemistry between you and LeBron are great, but the, really the chemistry between you and, and Don Cheadle. Oh, yeah. was, was something, you know, really, really kind of special because he is having to kind of bring that out of you, you know, both ways, you know, before you kind of go back, you know, to, 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 to LeBron. What was it like where I'm a big fan of his from the MCU and other things? What was oh, yeah, it like yeah. working with him? Uh, man, uh, as a young actor to, to work with, you know, a veteran like that and, you know, just, just to see his work ethic and to see him come up with, with things on the fly and you know how how fast and hard he works uh it, it was crazy you know just to watch it's it's like it's really like watching a superhero um you, you know in, in the industry and I, I picked up so much from him um you, you know in, in the business and uh, I'm so glad to you know that that I was surrounded by people like that and our chemistry was great also and he made it you know very fun for me to work uh you know he, he taught me some things and you know, just, it's like now we're family now, so. Awesome, that's great. What was it like interacting with some of the other, you know, NBA players, uh, Clay Thompson, Anthony Davis, Damian Lillard um, uh, in the movie? What was, you know, that like? Because I'd imagine you're a basketball, you yeah, know, yeah. fan. And, and now I know the first time that I've I met NBA players, you realize, man, these guys are really tall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, remember, yeah, yeah. I, remember, I remember the first time seeing uh, Damian uh, Lillard, he was more buff. Uh, like he was kind of loving and, and I imagine him uh, uh, but seeing all these you know these NBA players and you know just, just seeing them play and you know getting to be around them was, was crazy and they were all really cool and it, it was really fun you know to, to be around them and spend time with them so you know just, just to be in their presence uh, it's crazy you know, with an animated movie, you, you're dealing with a lot of, you know, green screen and things of that nature. As an actor, a young actor, how do you get yourself like mentally, you know, when you're not, you know, obviously it's not Bugs Bunny standing right there next to you. You know, how do you, you know, kind of get in that mindset of, of, of in that role and seeing it and visualizing it uh, when you're dealing with, with that type of trying to do an animated type of movie? Yeah, uh, well, you know, acting itself already takes, you know, a, a lot of creativity. Um, so, you know, to be able to act, um, you know, really by yourself with nothing around you, uh, it, it takes a lot of skill. And our director, Malcolm, did a great job, you know, directing us through that uh, and, and helping us, um, you know, j just to be able to act around, you know, pitchers or, you know, sticks or, or tennis balls. Um, you know, it takes a lot of uh, imagination and, and it was challenging, but, you know, it, it was still fun. You know, we had fun with it. And so, you know, just to see the, the final product and see how everything came out, it, it was uh, it was very satisfying. It, it was great. You know, you said you're a fan of the first Space Jam movie, which is a pretty straightforward, you know, good guys, bad guys, you know, type of movie. But this one and now I, I was a little surprised by it, has such a family 
um, you know, feel to it. And sons and fathers, specifically, you know, black fathers and, and black sons, when you read the script and saw, you know, this wasn't just like a straight basketball cartoon movie. How did that, you know, kind of make you feel that, look, if young black men are coming and kids are watching this movie, they're going to really see the family structure and those relationships kind of play out on screen. Uh, it, it made me feel proud. Uh, it, it was some, I, I, I've explained before that, uh, you know, watching Space Jam and, you know, seeing the relationship between LeBron and his son Dom, you get to see things that, you know, you, you don't really see behind closed doors. And even with, you know, celebrities who have kids and, you know, celebrities, uh, the kids who have to, you know, live up to that expectation. Uh, and, and with Dom, it's like he, he wants to follow his own path. Uh, he, he doesn't want to go to the NBA and he has trouble explaining that to his dad. And I feel like for LeBron, he has, you know, trouble, you know, understanding that. Uh, so I feel like, you know, their lack of communication plays a, a big role in, you know, the relationship between the father and the son. Um, and, and it's all about, you know, understanding one another and, you know, supporting each other. Did you have a chance to talk to, uh, did LeBron um, sons come on the set or anything? Did you have a chance to speak with them or anything? Yeah, I, I talked to um, Bronny. I just I just met Bryce last week uh, at Six Flags, but uh, Bronny came to set a couple times and I, I talked to him. Not a lot about, you know, their bond, but I did get to see, you know, how, how their bond was and, and their relationship. And, you know, a, a lot, you know, LeBron's really a great dad uh, in, in real life. Uh, he's a great He's a real family man. And, you know, to see, you know, him bond with his kids and his daughter and, you know, how, how happy everyone looked, it's, it's really good to see. Um, and so to, to be able to, to do a film like this and, you know, the chemistry we already had made it really easy to, you know, work with each other. And, you know, we brought that to, to the film. You know, without any spoilers or anything, were, were you surprised at all of the uh, cameos uh, animated cameos that, that were kind of in the film. I know that was, uh, when I watched it, I was like, oh, okay, I see you guys are, every, okay, everybody's coming out. When you saw the film, yeah. you know, oh, what'd you think about that? Uh, man, I, I remember, you know, my first time coming to the, the basketball court and, you know, seeing all these faces, you know, from other Warner Bros. films and, mm. it, it was really mind blowing, uh, <laughs> you know, ringing all these other, uh, you know, Warner Bros. franchises and, you know, bringing it all into one, you know, with Space Jam. Uh, it, it, it was something, you know, that I, I feel hasn't been done a lot. Um, you know, a lot of people compare it to Ready Player One. And I feel like uh -huh. it's compared like the aspect of the bringing the franchises together. I mean, that, that has a lot to do with it. But as far as, you know, the plot and the movie, uh, they're completely different things. Now, are you ready? You know, you said you're a, a fan of the first Space Jam. Obviously, 20, 30 years later, people are still talking about that. I get the feeling when this movie comes out, you know, 20, 30, 40 years later, when you have grandkids and things like that, people are still going to be talking about your performance, you know, in the movie. Is that something like you're proud of that, like, you're going to have a, a legacy because Space Jam is so beloved by so many people? Oh, yeah, that, that's that's something I, I, I definitely want you know, to, to be, to people to remember me as, uh, you, you know, I, I want this Space Jam to be just as golden as, you know, the, the original Space Jam. Uh, as far as myself personally, uh, my goal is to, you know, inspire and, you, you know, do more than, I, I do want to do more than Space Jam. Uh, I would love if this, you know, has I, I just as much as, an inspiration uh, as the old one did, um, but I, I I would love to you know work more and people to remember me for more than just Space Jam. Well, I can tell you just from watching the movie and seeing your work, you'll have a long, long, long career in, in Hollywood, and you're going to inspire a, a lot of people. So I really appreciate you taking the time, and I'm 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 proud to be able to speak with you, you know, at this early part of your career because I know. Down the road, you know, you're just going to keep ascending and be a super, super star. So thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you.